what portion of your healing journey and wanting more for yourself was based on those spiritual practices and beliefs? Were, were you raised with some certain, you know, spiritual beliefs or practices that, or was that something you found on your own? Um, we, when we moved to North Carolina, when we moved from New York to North Carolina, uh, we started going to church. It was mandatory to go to church. Um, so, I mean, I went cause I didn't have, I didn't have a choice, but when I was 27 and after I had gone through some really challenging things in my life, I just knew that I needed to build my relationship with God and not the one that I was taught to have uh, when we started going to church down here, but really get to know God for myself, study the word and apply the things that I've been learning. Um, And so one of the biggest concepts in the Bible is forgiveness. And so that is hard. Listen. (laughs) that is a very hard um uh, topic and way of life because our flesh gets in the way um and we want to for whatever reason hold on to the hurt and the pain as if that's doing something to the other person and it's not it's really just blocking our growth we're holding our blessings hostage and we're not progressing in the way that God intended us to progress so i had to go on this forgiveness journey forgiving the folks from the past that i thought i forgave um but really hadn't um and as well as forgiving myself for allowing myself to be for allowing myself to be a part of different situations that I knew I you know I had no business being a part of just different things that I agreed to that was outside of my beliefs or even the will of God and so forgiveness was really the biggest thing that helped me on my uh, journey to healing so it's funny you should say that because I was going to ask you a question um how important do you think self-compassion and forgiveness is and um, and letting go of that on that healing journey? So you kind of, in a lot of ways, answer that. 